when it comes to blitz chess arjun erigaisi is not just the best in india but also one of the best players in the world he is an amazing blitz player and he has played many fantastic game in blitz but this one is one of my favorites the reason we will see he's playing against the young russian talent volodar murzin and opens the game with d4 we have the slow defense and arjun goes for the exchange slow knight to c3 e6 notice how arjun makes his move super quick not taking any bit of time b2 pawn was attacked so he defends it knight comes out to e7 he plays e3 and somehow murzin stops in his tracks from blitzing out his moves he suddenly takes his time plays bishop d7 the bishop comes out to d3 one of the things that is in arjun's favor is his bishop is slightly superior as compared to the black bishop on d7 but that's not a huge advantage it seems like okay the position is slightly more pleasant for white but nothing much more than that so murzin now starts to take his time what is he supposed to do here he would have loved to trade off his bishop with bishop b5 but right now that square is controlled by two white pieces he can develop his knight to c6 but then his bishop on d6 is hanging so all in all there are some problems to solve and so he first goes h6 knight to f3 and maybe what he wants to do is he wants to take here and after hg3 the rook is no longer attacking the h7 pawn that could be his plan but look at the time difference already arjun has 3 minutes yes he takes hg knight to c6 now normal players would castle here right but arjun is not one of those normal players he does not castle he first plays rook c1 okay nothing spectacular about that but he realizes that the rook in that his king does not need to castle so he goes g4 first now maybe threatening g5 to open up the h file so murzin has to be careful what does he do maybe he prepares for g5 to meet it with h5 but look at this you go g5 h5 and maybe somewhere you have ideas like g6 to sacrifice a pawn and perhaps that's what murzin can stop with the move g6 playing beforehand but he's already having half the time that arjun has and arjun has just taken 3 seconds on the clock in a blitz game he's also finding time to look here and there the okay, time for murzin to play one of the things that murzin does really well and that is his thing is that even though he comes under tremendous time pressure he is able to handle the clock okay g6 played now how does arjun continue he already has a very very pleasant position one idea is to go knight a4 to c5 which is a very common idea in the exchange slow the other idea is perhaps to push g5 provoke h5 and then maybe even go g4 Arjun is taking his time now. Sometimes it happens that when your opponent plays too slow, you too slow down. He goes bishop to b1. Okay, not so sure what that was all about. King f8 played and you can see Murzin making use of the g6 move. He wants to put his king on g7. That's his idea. Arjun trying to figure out why this was done i'm still not 100% sure what his point was maybe he wanted to yes he goes knight a4 now this was logical queen d8 the knight jumps into c5 b6 now he can take the bishop but he goes back to d3 okay all good king to g7 played black is slowly fighting back not just in the position but also on the clock and arjun goes king f1 knight to g8 positional chess in progress the knight will do well on f6 g3 knight to f6 attacking g4 and the knight steps up on the e5 square but as you can imagine black has taken care of his king next he can exchange here and then get his bishop out to b5 so black has 
solved all his problems for the time being knight e5 and now bishop b5 check makes a lot of sense one minute 48 seconds for arjun 51 seconds for murzin check here and then arjun would put his king on g2 well white has a nice knight on e5 but that can always be kicked out and so murzin gives a check king to g2 and now maybe you want to trade the knights but he does it a little bit too soon he had to first take now can Arjun spot the tactic in this position? He must take on c8, queen c8, play knight g6, fg6, and queen b4, attacking the bishop, threatening queen e7 check. So it was a very tough idea, but he misses it. And he, he misses it, and the position becomes equal once again. Knight f6, played by Murzin. And Arjun can now take on c8, queen takes, and maybe go for knight e5 once again try for controlling the c file arjun pushes g5 here and next pawn takes he takes the rook on h8 queen takes on h8 good move and now he takes the h file with his rook with his rook looking here the bishop looking here and the knight planning to take on g5 this can turn into a dangerous attack but Murzin plays his queen to d8 and then to e7. Good solid chess. With 13 seconds on the clock, he is handling his time exceedingly well. Extraordinarily. And so Arjun goes for f3. His plan is to break with e4. Murzin exchanges the rook. And Arjun has to decide whether to take it or not. He takes it. King takes and now e4 played. So you can, he goes, can take on e4, but he, yeah, he takes it, fe and king g7. So very solid chess with just 8 seconds in hand. And Arjun goes queen c3. It's kind of a mistake because his knight is now loose and the queen can attack. Knight d5 played, attacking the queen. Ooh. Arjun goes back, defends his knight. Murzin goes back. He hardly has time to calculate. And this is where things start getting interesting. Because Murzin has 4 seconds. But Arjun also is com coming down on time. Knight f3, queen d7. Are white central pawns his strength or weakness? That is a good question. Bishop a6. The bishop wants to drop back to b7. How is Murzin able to find such good ideas here? Queen b2. And now all of a sudden... Uh, black is doing okay queen d8 defending his knight somehow there's a pin there and arjun also down to 10 seconds and this is where things get really interesting like who's going to play well in this time trouble who's going to control their nerves better queen d6 first moves in defends his pawn and now goes e5. So he blocks the diagonal. Bishop d3. The bishop wants to come to c4. King f8. Both the youngsters playing really accurately. It just goes to show that both are great blitz players. King d7 is now forced. Otherwise he'll lose material. And he finds it with one second on the clock. Check. King c8. And Arjun picks up a pawn. With just four seconds left. He takes here. And takes on e4. So now the material is once again equal. Check. <laughs> Kick up. Check here. King h5. And he goes bishop g4 check. King h6. King to b7 played. And from this point onwards, Arjun's play is just spectacular. First he plays queen g5. Giving up the g3 pawn which is anyway lost. Murzin takes it. He takes on e5. Now the bishop is hanging so there is a check. He goes king g7. Notice the time on the clock. Both players are down to their last 5 seconds. Now Arjun, many players would have agreed to a draw. But Arjun plays queen d6. And he realizes this is not a mistake. King a6 played by Murzin. He goes king f6. Another classy move with just couple of seconds on the clock left. To figure out that his position is not losing. Now again he moves with his king. How does Arjun calculate that it's not a blunder? Queen d3. Okay. King here. 
queen e4 check okay do you want to draw check here check draw the game queen d4 how do you find another move like this no mate here mursin is out of moves it seems king b7 is the only move he blunders knight d3 and now the game is over the game is over king comes to c7 already mating ideas there and he blunders the bishop and loses the game what an unbelievable bit of play by arjun here and what i just was amazed with and there you can see even murzin is kind of amazed with how arjun played is these moves queen d6 king f6 queen d4 these quiet moves in such a complicated position when you have so little time on the clock how do you do it that just shows that arjun has such great control on his nerves and an ability to play brilliant blitz chess murzin resigns he was a piece down arjun wins the game what a champion he is i i am amazed with how he controlled his nerves what do you think dear viewers do you think arjun played amazingly well let me know in the comment section below life is full of exciting events but it is our first impressions that we remember best your first diploma your first job in a big company unforgettable emotions from the first date the first expensive things you bought when you got your first paycheck and your first investments with freedom broker freedom broker look at your favorite brands from a new perspective